Hello again everyone, this is Randy, your sewing machine man, and today we're going to do a real quick how to thread your sewing machine video. And this is going to translate to many, many machines, just about every machine out there. The theory is going to be the same, although the machines will be different. And what I'm talking about, the theory, is that machines have tensions, they have pressure bar lifters that release the thread, and they have guides, and they have needles. So, a lot of things in common, and take up levers and thread guide so first thing you want to do is always whenever you thread any machine no matter what it is no matter if it's a kenmore or a bernina or a gamel or a juki or a conso industrial no matter what it is the first thing you do without fail every single time is raise the presser foot always raise the presser foot you'll notice these tension discs right here watch them move when i raise the presser foot they move up in and out in and out very subtle you can see it moving there when you raise the presser foot it opens the tension disc to accept the thread if you don't raise the presser foot you're wasting your time because the thread won't get seated and it'll jam underneath huge loops it'll jam the machine almost always so step one always raise the presser foot then you'll find a guide either in the back of the machine or the front edge of the machine before the tension assembly it always is before the tension assembly because it keeps the thread from jumping out of the tension assembly if you don't have this one and the threads coming at an angle it'll jump out the ones that have the lay-in threading when they come from the back there's always a tension assembly in the back going over to the leading edge of the front always hook that tension uh, or that thread guide always hook the thread behind that thread guide or else it'll jump out and you'll have misthreaded the machine so always find your first thread guide presser foot is up that means the tension discs are separated and they're loose they're rattling around it's got that's where they have to be there's usually going to be a little guide here on the side a little silver guide you put it in front of the guide get it in click the thread in behind so every time you take a stitch that spring's going to bounce sometimes that spring's going to be located inside there and you can't see it but it's going to bounce and that's where once you get it in the tension that's where you always do the second most important step after raising the presser foot is you lower the presser foot you lower the presser foot and that clamps the tension disc down you lower it and then you give it a test pull if you thread that needle without this thread giving a test pull you've misthreaded your th your machine because you're running the risk of it looping underneath if you have looping underneath that means you didn't test thread it you didn't go through the procedures you didn't check one up and down before you pull. So when you pull on that, you'll feel like somebody has a hold of it, then you'll know you have it seated properly in the tension. Then you go up to the take-up lever, the take-up lever sometimes here and there, sometimes it's a lay-in, but always the take-up lever, every time you take a stitch, that take-up lever pulls the thread and delivers it from the, the spool. It's gonna be a thread guide going down to the needle, thread guide, thread guide, thread guide. And you've already Raise and lower the foot so you know the tension is uh, seated, the thread is in there properly. So you thread your needle front to back on this one because it's a front load machine. Flat side of the needle goes to the back. And then you hold the thread. Always hold it when you take your first stitch. Don't ever take the first stitch without holding the thread. If you do that, it'll possibly jam. And then you give it the gas and away you go because it's not going to loop underneath i don't have to look underneath to see if it's making huge loops because i know it's not going to make huge loops if it does make huge loops there's something else going on it's not misthreaded it's not the tension tension's on four three to five is the range depending on the machine but if you'll thread every machine that way before you go to the take-up lever absolutely before you get to the needle after you've raised it to thread it you lower it to test it when you test it if it feels like someone's got a hold of it and won't let go when you pull Ooh, that that feels good you know you don't even have to know what the numbers are on the tension you know that you have a good firm tension and you look underneath and you see the stitches are perfect and this little machine is good for the illustration because you know in the good old days they put tensions on the front they put uh, these little patch and darn levers on the top for adjusting the fabric and they all had little drop feeds on the front for dropping your feeders down that's three items right now you won't see on any new machine you won't see them because they're too expensive and they break off in shipment because it's all about the freight the machines today a lot of them it costs more to ship them 
than it does to make them. I'm thinking they're probably building these machines for about 40 bucks. It costs $42.50 to ship it. So they get lighter and lighter to take all the features away. The bob winders, this and that, spool pens, everything's compact like a bar of soap. But here's a little guy right here I have for sale. Well, read it. Oh, uh, was it a 158, 13571? I got this little guy. See if you can find one of these. Uh, if you can get it for 100 bucks, I'll tune it up for you. You'll still be ahead of the game. I got this one for 240. I have it for sale for 249. But uh, it's real easy to thread. You always know when you got it right. It's easy. It's foolproof. So that's how you thread one. Get a good machine like this. Anything with a tension assembly sticking out the front, or at least a quality machine. Bernina, Juki, Janome, any of those. But that's how you thread it. Thanks.